How to use Scoro. Scoro simple tutorial. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll talk you through some of the features and some of the functions of Scoro. Basically, Scoro is an end-to-end -end work management software. It says here, Scars work management software helped agencies, consultancies, and professional service firms streamline projects, simplify quoting, automate billing, and optimize utilization. So that's basically what the platform does. Now, if you want to go to their website, just type in scoro.com and you'll land on this website right over here. There are various ways to start using their accounts, of course, to log in if you've already made an account. Try it for free. Try it for for free right over here and they don't require a credit card for you to input before you start trying their free trial now let's let's click this button right here and start exploring the site and now it asks us our work email so let me just input that in all right once i input that let's tick on this agree to the score terms of use in of course have read the privacy policy but i haven't re read that to be honest anyway let's click on try for free so you don't have to if you're not, you know, if you don't like the platform. Anyway, I'm showing you guys so, you know, you won't be like wasting your time making your account, stuff like that. And let's verify our account by, inf by inputting this code right here. It's 1612. Once we were done verified, it asks us more details such as company name. So let me just input in my company name, just a pseudo name. My name would be, yes, this one, of course. Next is our phone number. Let me just input my phone number. And the email is already right here. The password, let's input in a password. Let's generate password and then continue. Okay, team size. Uh, let's just say 10. Continue. All right. So now next is it asks you what would you like to do with their platform? Manage projects, plan resources, streamline coding and billing, view dashboards and reports or others. Maybe you can like click on or you can actually just click on one. So carefully choose one that you'd like to do. Let's just click on manage projects right here. And then let's create our site. Okay, so it says here create your site. So... I don't know how it's different from other different um, scheduling platform or work management platform right on the internet. But uh, I think this is more like customizable, more customizable compared to other platforms because it's creating a site. So maybe this works like WordPress and Google Sites, just an extension of Scoro. Okay, so the site is taking a while to be created. Okay, and now we're in, you guys. That took a while, to be honest. It maybe took like a minute or two. All right. Welcome to Scoro, a small step for you, a giant leap for your business. Let's take a short tour to help you get started. You can click next and can just go ahead and click X right away. So, wow. This is what their dashboard look like. This is what their platform looks like, you guys. Basically, it looks uh, familiar. You have seen this before from different management softwares out there but what's different is that look at this site right here in the extension yolkscoro.com slash main so i think this is a full-blown website with just you know one slash one extension address which is like your account already so the website and the extension address is your account immediately so that's really cool so i hope that provides uh less lag time when using the platform so now Right here on the top bar, you can see calendar, tasks, projects, contacts, planner, quotes, invoices, reports, pipeline. And beside them are icons such as time tracker, bookmarks, notifications, quick actions, search. And this tab right here is where you can manage your account. You can check on your trial right here. You can plan and, you know, you can plan your subscription. You can pay your bills. You can manage users. You can delete demo data right here. And there are a couple of options available as well, like your, prof like your profile settings, company data and logo, your team, our team, sent items, presentation mode, and of course, you can log out from this tab right here as well. 
this is what you'll see once you enter or once you log into your account. You immediately see the dashboard right over here and then you can actually watch an introduction to their dashboard if you want to just click this, but I'm gonna do that for you. Now the dashboard is where you see everything that's set up right in these tabs right over here. So once you input stuff right here such as tasks, projects, contracts, pipeline as well, the dashboard will automatically show them to you right over here. All this data right here are dummy data. So I've actually didn't I actually didn't input them, but basically when you start inputting your info your data right here, this is how they will look like. You can see here all tasks due this week. You can see here team, uh, for example, if a team planned something to do, you can see them here. You know, the, the, the projects that are soon to be, you know, on deadline. Next, uh, things that you weigh, like, uh, you know, quoted versus confirmed, stuff like that. And of course, the revenue can also be seen here and outstanding invoices can also be seen here and stuff like that. You can add in and customize your cards by adding uh, stuff to your dashboard by clicking this button right here. Click on add to dashboard. You can choose from result matrix ratio met metric wet widget or chart chat chart you can choose any of this kind to add to your dashboard now once you choose to add chart you'll see here that a new chart will be added now you can also choose options below such as browse bookmarks library choose from bookmarks or you can start to create a new chart right over here from scratch but if you have like templates that are done or bookmarks that you saved you can just choose one of these options right over here now let's start and create a new chart by uh, scratch now will it be what source will the chart um show it will it be the financial report or the work summary report now let's choose work summary report and then you can choose here for all users or you can choose a specific department from that from where that charts data will come from and then let's start to click on accounting and finance start of the month till today and click next and the title of the chart would be um accounting yes i'm not sure but yeah let's just click save and as you can see here the data it's this is a dummy data so now you can see here a chart that we just added i'm not sure if you can change the chat the chart the type of the chart this is a pie chart but yeah this is basically their dashboard an overview of everything that is set up in within this tabs right here now, you can edit the uh, you can you can edit the dashboard right over here, but you can also edit the dashboard by clicking this button right over here. You can see here dashboard options. You can add in a new dashboard by clicking this plus sign right here. So this is not the only dashboard you can create. You can create one dashboard separately. And you can create a new dashboard from library if you've already saved a dashboard. You can duplicate the current dashboard and input maybe like a different timeline like for example this this one this current dashboard is for like monthly and maybe this one would be for like quarterly yearly stuff like that you can go ahead and just duplicate this particular dashboard right here and what else is here we also have calendar we have tasks but first let's take a look at calendar basically this works just like any calendar uh, you know, any calendar of work management platforms. It's uh, It works by column as well. But this one, it has a timeline beneath the, uh, underneath the column is a timeline. So you can see here from 9 p.m., 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can um, edit that out if you want to by clicking on this one, selecting time slots right over here next is what else do we have we also have tasks we also have yeah now this tab basically is an uh, it provides you an overview of the list of tasks that are needed to be done and you know you can see here the total of the tasks that are there and the time spent for that task duration to do remaining time for a specific task or remaining time for all of these tasks, you can also see your overdue tasks and tasks for the future. Next is the projects. Now, these are the projects that are needed to be done and stuff like that. 
basically they all work the same way you just have to uh click the tab input what you want click on this button right there you can edit them add in information you can see here that they've already inputted like dummy information so that means once you create your new account you'll have an overview of how everything works in the site so you guys that's basically it for this tutorial i wish it has been helpful now from this video you decide if you want to continue with scoro or not i think score is good for managing like a large scale uh company maybe like a thousand employees 500 or more i think their platform looks really clean and it looks really eye friendly and it's up to you if you want to try it i tried it for you and now it's your choice if you want to pursue this or not let me know down in the comments below what you think about this platform and i will see you again in the next video peace out